Today we're going to look at DC Multiverse Batgirl. So let's take a look at that. Well, we got the box sort of opened um, somewhat, and it comes with a Batgirl collectible card. That's pretty cool. And there's the figure, and that figure is really wired in there pretty good. So I'm going to have to take my time to get that thing out of there, and we'll get into it soon. All right, we got Batgirl out of the box, and that was no easy task. They really wrapped that figure in plastic really well. I guess, I don't know if there's a problem with people stealing these figures in the store or what, but um, that was not easy. I had to basically surgically remove her out of there. But this figure's incredible. I mean, look at, oh, the eyes, huh, look at that. They're going to the east. That's interesting. Um, so here's the figure. And uh, very detailed, fully posable. I can't possibly hold the camera and pose her at the same time, but um, that's pretty cool. And um, if you look at the back, and look at the hair and, and the cape, it's really cool. Um, let me see if I can try to get her to stand so I can, oops. Mm, her one foot is kind of, there we go. But her head does move, her arm, I mean, I, I, wish, uh, I need somebody to demonstrate. Her head turns, elbows, wrists, hands, everything moves. Um, the only thing I think that doesn't move is her fingers. And let's see here. I mean, her fingers, you could jam something in there for her to hold, obviously, which would be, she comes with, uh, what does she come with? There's the box. Comes with, um, let's see. Comes with a batarang and grapnel hook, I guess. Yeah. So there you have it. The Batgirl McFarlane figure. It's about six inches tall and um, really detailed. I love the, the cape. is really cool. And uh, let's get a better look at this. Cape is really cool. The hair is spot on. Really detailed. Very nicely done. So this retails for about $20. I think I got it for $18.99, $19.99 at Walmart, something like that. But they sell them at um, sell them at Target, they sell them at Walmart. I like to try to get them on clearance, but that's really hard to do because um there's a lot of collectors out there, and they sell pretty quickly. So, um, but it's really a nice piece. And um, if you're a Batman fan, a Batgirl fan, it really is nice. It really looks like the comic, too. So there you have it. Batgirl. All right, we got someone here who's going to demonstrate all the articulation and the poses, which is much more than I ever even realized. So I had to tack this part on. So the wrist bend, the hands, elbows. Wow, that is unbelievable there. The head completely turns. 
the torso swivels. What else we got? Wow. Legs go completely up, down. Show me the, the toes and the feet. That This I've never seen before. Look at this. Look at that. The toes even move. I've never seen anybody do a toy like that part before. That's amazing. Wow. That's incredible. Look at that. Jeez. She's like a contortionist. The only time I've ever seen a figure that could bend that much was like a bendy, like a Gumby or something, but wow. And it, and it, and it, it's pretty easy to pose too, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. She stands, she crawls, she walks. The only thing she doesn't do is talk, I guess, but man, that's pretty cool. You could put her in any action pose, literally any kind of pose. Wow. I got to tell you, that's $20 worth of fun right there alone. Uh, that's pretty cool. I had no idea, you know, because I can't really show you how it bends and hold the camera at the same time now that I got somebody to show you. Man, that is unbelievable. Look at that. Jeez. Does the splits probably too. Yep, does the splits. Jeez. Wow. Well, back roll always kicked really high too in the TV show, Ballet Dancer or whatever. So, Yvonne Craig. But this is the comic book back girl. And do the fingers move? No. No, they don't. Okay. But she does hold the stuff she can't came with. She came with a batarang and a grapnel hook. So that's pretty cool. Wow. Amazing. Let's get a close up look there. Cool. All right. And that's it for the review. Bad girl.